here is the temperature outside which is at the moment is minus 71 degrees. Physicist Francis Halsen is on the hunt for mysterious subatomic particles that saturate our universe, neutrinos. His lab? It's a cubic kilometer full of sensors known as ice cube, and it's buried below the South Pole. Astronomers say neutrinos are key to understanding the workings of the cosmos. Energetic events like exploding stars and black holes emit them, but studying them has turned out to be a tall order. There's basically no difference between neutrinos and light. The only difference is that light doesn't even go through a wall, whereas neutrinos go through everything. Everything, including Earth. But it is possible to detect neutrinos using sensors embedded in ice. And so just accidentally, they run straight into the nucleus of an atom and then create lots of other particles which we can see. And it's only these accidental crashes of neutrinos that allow us to observe them. Halsen and his team at the University of Wisconsin created the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory with support from the National Science Foundation. It's like a telescope that looks into the Earth instead of out at the sky, watching for these ghostly particles from distant galaxies. We're looking at an ice cube digital optical module, or a DOM. This is the instrument we put in the ice. On the bottom, there's a photomultiplier tube. It's basically a light bulb in reverse, so it picks up light and sends an electrical signal to this top section, which is basically a high-powered computer. About 5,000 DOMs have been lowered on cables and permanently frozen into the ice. If you were just standing at, you know, at Ice Cube's location and you looked out in every direction, this is, this is what you would see. So what we hope here is to find an accumulation of events from some specific direction that would highlight a source of neutrinos. Retracing the path of these very small particles could help answer very big questions about supernovas, dark matter, and the very origins of the universe. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.